Dear Litrinova Medical Patients, Today I would like to talk about vitamin D and its importance in preventing um, viral infections in general and COVID-19 in particular. Vitamin D has multiple benefits in the human body. It's important for the bone health, skin, hair, gastrointestinal tract, moods, and it has a very important role in a well-functioning immune system. It's um, important um, in people with allergies as well as uh, in people with uh, frequent upper respiratory infections. There are several studies done in relationship to vitamin D and COVID. And it's been shown that vitamin D helps to prevent or minimize COVID symptoms by three major mechanisms. First, it um, prevents uh, viral replication and destabilizes the virus. Um, it's been shown in, um, in hospitals uh, that people who are in the intensive care unit with more severe COVID symptoms generally have a much lower vitamin D level in the point of um, around 10 to 15. People who have a higher vitamin D levels generally uh, don't have such severe symptoms. The second uh, mechanism of action is that the uh, the damage to the body uh, caused by COVID-19 is um, by cytokine storm, which is uh, upregulating of the immune system to the point that different um, particles of the immune system, cytokines, cause damage to the lining of the lungs, kidney, heart, brain, and other vital organs. And the vitamin D helps to prevent cytokine storm by uh, down-regulating pro-inflammatory cytokines, cytokines that cause damage, and up-regulating anti-inflammatory cytokines, cytokines that help prevent inflammation. It's also been shown that a lung damage in patients with COVID is caused by interfering with production of angiotensin-converting enzyme 2. And generally, uh, younger people have a high level of um, angiotensin-converting enzyme 2, and the people with chronic conditions or elderly, uh, the levels are decreased. And what vitamin D does, it boosts production of uh, ACE2, which is angiotensin-converting uh, enzyme 2. So vitamin D has multiple benefits, and it's a very a simple supplement. If you cannot be in the sun on a daily basis, I do suggest take vitamin D3. D3 is an active form of vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, so it should be taken with food, preferably in the morning, because it does give you energy. And the dose of vitamin D is generally between 25 and 35 IU per pound of weight. And most people do need between four and 5,000 IU of vitamin D3 a day. Um, many insurance companies have sent me letters uh, saying that they are not covering uh, vitamin D testing anymore. So that's why, unfortunately, we had to remove it from our annual physical panel because many patients receive the bill from the lab um, asking to pay for vitamin D and because insurance is do refuse to pay. But uh, nevertheless, um, I would just say, unless a person takes vitamin D on a regular basis, the levels are generally low. Because even if you are uh, with a good vitamin D level at the end of the summer, because you've been in the sun, uh, vitamin D uh, half-life is three months, which means that after three months, the vitamin D level in blood will be half of what it was, let's say, at the end of the summer. If let's say if at the end of the summer your level was good, uh, 50, 55, but three months from, from that, it would be half of it was 25, 30, which is uh, low. Um, maintenance dose of vitamin D3 is between four and 5,000 IU a day of vitamin D3 uh, in the morning with food, with breakfast or with lunch. But uh, it's also been shown that when a person has an upper respiratory infection or any kind of inflammation in the body, the requirement of vitamin D increases. And um, I do recommend my patients, if, um, if they start feeling under the weather, scratch your throat, congestion, low-grade fever, you can double or triple your vitamin D intake. You can take vitamin D3 
either uh, same dose that you take on a daily basis, but do it two to three times a day, or just take triple the dose in the morning, but only do it for a short period of time, three or four days. For good measure, it's also important to take vitamin C, and the maintenance dose of vitamin C is a thousand uh, milligrams twice a day, just really to give a good support to immune system, as well as other multiple benefits. But when a person develops a cold or any other inflammatory condition, vitamin C can be increased and a thousand can be taken every two to three hours up to five or six grams a day. The limiting factor to how much vitamin C can be taken is uh, upset stomach and diarrhea. And generally, if uh, you know one stops vitamin C within, within a day, the symptoms resolve. And um, I do tell my patients, if you are to take only one supplement a day, please take your vitamin D. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions to this video, please send me a message through the, through the patient portal or um, just call me and schedule a follow-up.